Good morning, everybody. What is going on? My name is Colton. Welcome back to another trucking vlog. We're down here in Hutchins, Texas. We're, we are delivering in Hutchins. We got about six and a half miles to go to get to Crate and Barrel. It has been a long freaking journey, over a thousand miles, but we have finally made it. There is a bonus in this video. Uh, I'm going to try as much as I can. After one mile. Today is April 8th. So that is the uh, solar eclipse. And if you can see this sign, you probably can't. But it says, solar eclipse Monday delays possible. Arrive early, stay put, leave late. It has been nothing but that the entire way from Arkansas down here. So where we are, it's just right around Dallas. Take exit 473C on the right to I-45 South. In fact, we're still in Dallas. Dallas is in the very center of this thing. So, according to the internet and everything, this is supposed to get 100% coverage today. About about 1.30 this afternoon. when it's supposed to hit. So, so far it's cloudy, so it doesn't look like a good day for a solar eclipse, but I'll try to show you as much as I can. And so our pickup is up in Irving, Texas, Irving, Texas, which is on the northwest side of Dallas. And then that's going all the way to Greensboro. And yes, again, today is Monday. And we gotta be back in Greensboro Wednesday for delivery. Oh God, thanks, bump. In three and a half miles, take exit 271 on the right toward Pleasant Run Road. I can't remember if I recorded this for you guys in a video or not. I know I've been down here, obviously. I don't remember this place. I mean, I do remember being here. Okay, 49.50. Google Maps can't even find the place unless you... Thank you. Unless you look up, like, Crate and Barrel Hutchins and it'll come up with Wilmer. <laughs> but it's a drop and hook. Now, our pickup is not till 3.30. Um, unfortunately. Because my fleet manager was trying to get me to leave... Uh, Saturday and I had something to do Saturday. I couldn't. But yeah, this place is just a simple drop and hook. Right across from the rail yard. Yep. Got off here and went to the Loves and I... Did I overnight here? Yeah, I did. I overnighted here. And then left here and went delivered and then wherever else I went from there. Pleasant Run Road, then take the first left. Oh, uh, uh. yeah, I hate Texas Interstate. Oh my god, it's bumpy as heck. Turn left on East Pleasant Run Road. Oh. Dang it, I need to secure that thing a little bit better. We'll be doing a 30 minute break here anyway. There's Crete Yard. Always stop. Stop. My turn. After three quarters of a mile, turn right. trying to tell me because uh, 
freaking thing's unplugged. In one quarter mile, turn left. Oh, right, 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 okay. That's right, we turn there. Makita, wow. Turn left oh, on the road. Oh, what a disaster of a freaking road. Hey, look, there's one of our trucks here. Is he like literally like overnighting there or something? Huh. Everything came undone. God almighty. Come on, Schneider, let's go. Come on. Take your sweet ass freaking dog. I don't think you can overnight here. After half a mile turn right. My station 5.1 miles ahead. Alright, well there's security. I'm gonna let you go and uh catch up with you on the other side. Arriving at Crate and Barrel Hutchins on the left. Uh da 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> turn that off. All the empty trailers are over here. All the loaded trailers are on the other side. Oh, man, oh man, oh man. I'm not looking forward to traffic conditions. I'm really not. <laughs> From noon until about 5 p.m. It's gonna be unusual traffic. Oh my God, I'm not looking forward to it at all. But it would be funny if it stayed cloudy all day. All these people wasting money. <laughs> wasting money to come to fill up these airbnbs and travel all across the country to come to the direct path for just turning nighttime <laughs> oh man that's funny okay i can't remember if i have to check in or not i think i do and they'll tell me what spot to put it in last time oh yeah last time they had me put in the door here it is, yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, see you shortly. Dropping door five. Well, that sucks. There's no empty trailers available. Some, I have to call my fleet manager, see what he wants me to do. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm already here. <laughs> see what he wants me to do. Look at this. Three cargo trailers. Yeah, what a beautiful day for a freaking solar eclipse. <laughs> I want to get out of this freaking area before it even starts. Because freaking people are idiots around here. I'm sorry. Like, people are something else. At least it's just Monday. Holy cow. Uh. Holy cow. Um, held in by a string. Okay. I think it should be as okay as long as I don't bump, like, bump hard. This is only 5,000 pounds. I don't know why I closed that. Only 5,000 pounds for a full trailer? 
Furniture for the win. Okay. But the lady was super nice, but. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know you are, but. too bad so the, that cargo truck that was outside literally took the last one and is overnighting in, in fact which is you know we could overnight here or out there but shoot I would have done that well, I couldn't have done that last night but I would have done that before. You know what I don't understand? They said about three hours so you get an empty. Why don't they just go ahead and start unloading me? miss this trailer this trailer pulled extremely straight so she said I could literally chill anywhere in this yard so I guess I'm gonna pop a squat right next to that hydrant there for now I know it let a fleet manager know. I did not know. And that road is wide enough that you can sleep on it. But I didn't realize it was that freaking wide. All right, well, we'll just pull on right here. Patch of grass and a little tree. Okay. Well, we made it. So I'll catch up with you whenever, uh, shoot. Whenever I, whatever decides to happen. Well, since we're sitting here waiting to for our empty trailer, which we're not supposed to be waiting, we're supposed to be uh, doing a drop and hook, but apparently they want to take three hours to do it. Um, might as well go over some YouTube comments. And of course, as always, I do appreciate you guys commenting all the time. I'll read your comments and I'll read it on the video. Or on the next video, rather. First comment is from Candy. 
Of course, again, I don't read your whole name, just in case, you know, I know some people don't like that, so Candy. Uh, the camera, which, anyway. The camera quality is great. What are you using? Also, what is the mount? Your GoPro on the front, right next to your GPS. So, uh, thank you for that comment. What am I using? GoPro Hero 11. What you're watching on is GoPro Hero 11. This is GoPro Hero 11. Uh, it's on one of the magnet mounts here on for my hat. And as far as on the dash, it's just the regular uh, run-of-the-mill. Actually, one of these right here. That. It's on the dash. That's all I use. So thank you for that comment. Next, uh, next comment comes from... I'm probably going to butcher this, but... SCOE, S-C-O-E, SCO, SCOE. Um, I'm training to get my CDL permit. I'm so excited. Congratulations, man. I mean, good job. Seriously. I mean, um, you get very anxious when you get your CLP. And you get ready to go. And you're like, I want to get going. I want to get going. I'm ready to get on the road and everything. And, you know, you got to take it one step at a time. But, but keep working at it hard. And... You'll, you'll do it. You'll push through it. I, I believe in you, man. So the next comment, again, comes from Tyler. <laughs> Thanks for another ride along. Uh, always enjoy it. Uh, love when you're in Florida. Can't wait to see the surprise video, which I already posted it. Uh, my ELD has been glitching lately and as, stay, as well, staying on duty, not driving whenever I take some kind of... Uh, when I take off, kind of strange. <laughs> Be safe out there. Yeah. My ELD, I don't know what happened. It's not doing it now, but that night when I rolled onto that scale and I went on duty not driving, weighing or scaling on here, once I did that, it stayed in that all the way from Jacksonville all the way back to Newton. So so I don't know what its deal was. I don't know what happened. It's not doing it now. Um, logs already came back. They already contacted me. Did you drive on duty a lot driving? I was like, no, no I can't do that. Because once you get over five miles per hour, it kicks you automatically from that to driving mode. But anyway, that was a fun conversation. But thanks, man, for the comment again. <laughs> and Silverhawk, hey, uh, <laughs> you comment. Jacksonville just sounds like Hell's Kitchen, but for truckers. <laughs> you are not wrong, dude. I kid you not. You are freaking not wrong. Jacksonville is one of those places that even delivering, I was just about ready to say only picking up, but delivering is just as bad. It is horrible. <laughs> that's funny, Hell's Kitchen. But anyway, that's all the comments I have for today. Thank you for the comments. If you would like to have a comment on the next video, make sure to post a comment down below. Whether it's a question, comment, whatever you want to say, and it will be commented and featured in the next video. Okay, guys, I have a huge announcement to make to you guys. We are almost at the 500 subscriber mark. I have a goal for you guys. If you guys get me up to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do two things. I will do a giveaway, gift giveaway of some sort, and on camera. Now, of course, what I mean by that is I'm not going to put camera right up to you know right up to my fleet manager's face but on camera with audio obviously i will do a coming out video to him letting him know that i'm doing gopro and i'm or uh doing youtube and everything and see what his opinion is and i'll capture it all on camera for you guys after that after every 1000 subscribers 1000 2000 3000 so on and so forth i will do a gift giveaway every 1,000 subscribers I will do a gift giveaway so if you're watching this and you're new make sure to subscribe and help support the channel let's grow this channel let's grow the channel and get this large let's let's do it guys let's do it so make sure to like and make sure to subscribe all right guys well three hours later here 600 feet turn right turn onto right this pleasant the road and then, then turn take right. the first right three hours later here we go we're finally on the move the only problem is my appointment's not till 3.30. I'll turn right and then turn right onto North Interstate 45. That's the only problem. Okay, they don't have a stop sign. Solar eclipse traffic. 
turn right at the stop sign, then exit left. Your 700 feet turn right onto North Interstate 45 and then keep left. Oh boy. I hope they load me early. For all I could say. I'll turn right and then keep left to join the Interstate 45 North. That was a good nap. I did take a good nap. Good long nap. So we are literally like T minus, well, pretty much the prime time is now. It's, Take the exit on the left to I-45 North. It's high noon right now. I'll keep left to join the highway. Okay, well, we got a bunch of traffic till we get there. Still got a little ways to go, so I'm going to let you go. I'll catch up with you when we get there. Unless the solar eclipse decides to pop, pop up before time. Okay, guys, well, we're in downtown Dallas. Car stay over there. Which result would you like? Cancel. Alright, now, I need to get essentially over... I think I gotta get over one more. Can't see, wait till we get out of the tunnel. There we go, now I can see. Okay, now we get over. Welcome to downtown Dallas, y'all. Be in either of the two right lanes, then take the exit to I-35E North. Ay, 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 I'm fighting against my clock now. Cause I've already taken my break, my split break. Pain. I'll keep right to take the exit. Pain in the butt. Two four miles, keep left to take exit 433A. And they got all cops out every freaking where. <laughs> two two miles, three keep left. Of a mile. Take the exit on the left. Wait, what? 183 toll. Take the exit on the After right one mile, to Texas keep right 12 to take the south exit towards, towards Carl Road. Road. That's the problem. There's too many turnouts and pullouts and uh, Texas. There's too many. Wait, you want me to go that way? What? One half mile. There's no way. The ramp ahead. Okay. it right there yeah American beverage okay there we go Kroger all right all right we made it what kind of an awkward awkward ass entrance but all right let me go check in and I'll be right back with y'all as soon as I clear this when barely possible, make a u-turn all right, guys. Well, it is 1:30. The solar eclipse, solar eclipse is in effect, and I don't think it would pick up on GoPro very well. But it is, for a fact, getting a lot dimmer. Right now, it reminds me that you know what it reminds me of: beautiful, bright, sunny day, and all your windows are tinted really, really dark. So. 
We'll see you guys shortly whenever it gets really dark. All right, now we're a little bit darker. And all the street lights are coming on. I don't know if you can see in that parking garage across the street. But all those lights are on. All the lights across the street are on. Oh, now the cloud's moving away. It feels like it's almost like seven o'clock right now, about seven or eight o'clock right now. It's so dark. Good God, it is dark. I turn my markers on. <laughs> it's so dark. Holy cow. Oh, and by the way, I decided to move my iPad up here if it decides to work ever. Freaking trucker path, I swear. Trucker Path is a pile of junk, sorry. Start navigation. You are heading to Harris Teeter Distribution Center, Greensboro, North Carolina. So, so I get this area down here. Oh God, you guys can't see. I gotta have light in here now. Oh my gosh, it is really, it is really freaking dark. Oh, I can see it. I see it. I can see the solar eclipse. Guys, you can see it with your bare eyes now. Because the clouds are helping it. Wow, this is cool. It's gone. Freaking sun's gone. <laughs> it's completely nighttime. 1.41 in the afternoon. so freaking cool. It is completely nighttime at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There it is, you can barely make out the sun. It's just a slither. That is so cool. Yep, now it's coming back. All right, time to sit down. That was really cool. That was a really cool experience. 100% full coverage here in Dallas, Texas. Freaking awesome, guys. Now it's it's sunny just like it was just like <laughs> just like normal 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, let's go weigh this thing. We are very heavy. We're 43,000 pounds in the box. But wasn't that solar eclipse pretty cool? That was pretty, that was pretty bad freaking ass, man. It was awesome. All right, which way do I need to go? I don't know which way I need to go. To the right. Ow. So once we go to the right, okay. That was really cool. That really was that was freaking cool i have never experienced anything like i did one other time in one half mile turn right on highway 360. i experienced another uh back at home but i was at you know my factory job or whatever and 
the um, big higher up came out and said, anybody goes outside, you're going to get rode up for it. So, I didn't get to experience it. I was inside a building. Wow, what freaking stop signs. <laughs> After a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Highway 360. But you gotta admit, that was actually pretty freaking cool. Tactic congestion 15.0 miles ahead. <laughs> I bet you it's still people. Still freaking people looking at this thing. Because it's not supposed to technically go completely away until about um, 3 o'clock around here. Now back at home, they haven't experienced it yet. Anyway, we gotta go somewhere. We gotta find Turn right at the stop sign. We gotta find a freaking uh, kitty cat scale because we're a wee heavy. I'll turn right. Alrighty. Oh god, I hate these little freaking intersections. Are you turning or what are you doing? No signal. No nothing. Oh. After one and a half miles, keep in left one to join the highway. Miles, take the ramp on the left to Texas 183 East. But it's kind of odd that during the event, after I took a bunch of pictures, which I'll take the pictures and I'll put those on the uh, on the video for you, what I captured, um, it wouldn't post to like Facebook or anything. It took forever to do. Oh yeah, we're heavy and slow. But you gotta admit, that was freaking cool. I mean, it was complete, complete nighttime during the day at like 1.30 in the afternoon. Well, that's a memory that um, only comes up once in a lifetime, pretty much. We're gonna go ahead and get off here. We're gonna weigh and then determine from there whether I'm gonna drive another, basically another hour or am I just gonna call it quits here because it's already 3, 3.30 roughly. Of a mile, turn right on County Road 138. Oh, it's a TA, that's okay, cool. Car struck straight. Turn right on County Road 138, then take the third right. After 1,000 feet, continue straight ahead onto Interstate 20 East. All right. Look at that. Look at that fell from that freaking bounce. Are you turning or what are you doing, bud? Oh, he's got to stop. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice it was Turn an all-way right, stop. Then take the second left. My fault. Recalculation. Alright. A station eight plus four miles ahead. Turn, then now take turn right left. and then turn right. Okay. Turn right, then take the first right. Turn right. Alright. Reserve. Alright. Go about there. Alright. Too much stuff going on here. Cat scale. 
2476. That's correct. Legal. Right. Sweet. Look at that. All right. We are legal. 100%. There's a loves. We'll go to that. 38 miles. Turn left. Going to Love's Travel Stop on South Oak Street in Van, Texas. Oh my god. <sighs> Fix their freaking potholes. Turn left on County Road 138, then take the first right. Got 38 miles till the lives, and then we'll go ahead and call it quits from there. No stop sign, keep on moving. All right, so we got 38 miles. Calculations. I saw the stop sign, but I didn't see now all the way. <laughs> That's my fault. We are really completely legal. After 800 feet, continue straight to head on to Interstate 20 East. Good morning, everybody. We are now in Greensboro. Yeah. All day yesterday, it's, it did nothing but rain. And now all day today, it's been raining since Alabama. We woke up in Alabama, right at the Georgia line. And here we are. Now we're gonna be making our delivery, but we're not making it this morning. We gotta wait till 9.30 tonight. That's when our appointment time is, because normally it's a drop and hook, but this time, for some reason, it's a live unload. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Oh, and if I sound very nasally, I'm sorry, because my, my allergies are like really kicking up a storm this morning. Or like, they've been really kicking up lately. It's, oh, I hate it. I hate springtime. So yeah, it's been nothing but, it did nothing but for 660 miles, that's what we did yesterday. Solid rain. And it would stop, and then sprinkle, and then stop, and then hard rain, and then normal rain, and then sprinkle. Freaking ridiculous. All right, what we gotta do is keep left on- Turn two miles, keep right. You say right, you said left. Uh. It looks like just literally stay on this interstate. Now keep right and then turn left onto West Friendly Avenue. Be in the left lane. After a quarter of a mile, turn left onto West Friendly Avenue. I'll turn left. Three quarters of a mile, turn right on Old Friendly Road, then take the third After right. After three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Old Friendly Road and then turn right. I'll turn right and then turn right onto Distribution Drive. And it's bumpy as hell. I don't want to, oh, that was my water. After 700 feet, turn right onto Distribution Drive. They're still right parked out here. Drive. Oh my god. They're still parked out here. Now turn right. Uh, well, maybe someone on the inside has already left. To 1,000 feet, you will reach your destination. The destination will be on your left. In one half mile, arrive at Harris Teeter Greensboro on the left. There's a spot there. I guess I could. I guess I could park there. That'll be an option. That'll be an option if I if I need to. We'll check in here first. See, everybody's facing the other way, but I have to face this way. 
Oh god, there's parking in here. In one quarter oh, mile, yeah. arrive at Harris Teeter Greensboro on you the left. You have reached your destination. The destination is on your right. Oh yeah, there's parking in here. Oh yeah. Alright. <sighs> Only problem, I gotta sleep next to freaking reefers. Got that in spot there. Which is not a bad thing. Turn right, then take the second left. Hmm. Okay, so his reefer's open. So it means it's probably not on. And I'll be further back. So let's do this. I wonder if I can turn around somewhere. Um. Let me turn around somewhere. I'm going to turn around somewhere. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. That way I can get that spot. Because his reefer's open, so that means. At the end of the running. street, turn left. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Alright. But we can pull forward as we'll do, pull forward and then back in. I'm thinking about it because that end spot up there, but. But whatever, we'll pull back in here. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's cold. Slide over a little bit more. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, I turned you off. Stop. See how far back I am. Sleeper, 10 hour break. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and check real quick. Because <coughs> this place fills up very fast. I 
could scoot back just a hair. I could scoot back just a hair, but I think I'll be okay. Okay, we made it, woohoo! So basically what they told me was, um, your appointment's not till 10, even though, that was weird. I heard a bloom. So basically they told me that my appointment's at 10 o'clock, even though my app says 9.30. Um, in fact, uh, it says, let me make sure, 21.30, so 9.30. But she said, she just called and they said 10 o'clock. So for some reason, this load, which doesn't seem anything fancy fancy on here, but it's beverages, it's pallets of blackberry, tangerine, uh, orange. They asked, what's the temperature of my trailer? And I'm like, I don't have a briefer trailer, it's a dry van. Oh, okay. So, we're going to be hanging out here anyway, tonight. <laughs> Doing our 10-hour break right now. All right, guys, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.